Welcome to the Bourbon Van. I'm Phil. I'm Julie. And according to some guy on Reddit, you only need five bourbons. Man, we could have saved a lot of money. I think he's wrong. <laughs> This idea that you only need five bourbons came up on Reddit a while back on the bourbon subreddit. A whole bunch of whiskey tubers have been recording these videos over the last year or so, and they've been nominating each other, and nobody was gonna nominate us, so I nominate us. I like it. Okay, so <laughs> here are the five bourbons, supposedly that you only need. Keep in mind, these are bourbons, not rye. We tried to keep them somewhat to things that are accessible things that you can find on the shelf but not a hundred percent because you'll find out number one a daily drinker easy enough uh number you think it'd be simple enough but it took me a while to figure out which one i wanted <laughs> <laughs> yeah sometimes <laughs> well we've kind of we've kind of got a lot to choose from it can be hard to decide all the time number two is one to impress your guests and we'll talk about that a little more i think that that's a poorly named category, mm -hmm. but I like the idea behind it. Yeah. Number three is a cheap mixer and maybe just a bottle for guests who don't know anything about bourbon, who don't care what they're drinking, maybe they want to throw an ice cube in it, whatever it might be. Number four is something great, your Friday night bourbon, that pour that you've been looking forward to it all week, it's time to kick back. And number five is your special occasion bottle, could be your unicorn, could be something fancy, could be something expensive, could be something real cheap that's hard to find, or it could just be something that you absolutely love. So those are the five that we had to choose from. Let's just jump right into it. We're both drinking our choices for Daily Drinker, and you're about to find out what those are. Would you like to go first? I would love to. All right. So my uh, Daily Drinker is Eagle Rare. Mm. It's delicious. Yeah. And I chose it because it's low proof, it's only 90 proof. Under 30 bucks usually comes in around 29-ish dollars, which makes it seem like it's even cheaper. Solid deal. Not super easy to find here in Oregon, but... Getting easier. It seems getting like easier, more, there's more think, on the shelf all the time. Yeah, and I think it's pretty uh, readily available across the country. So I just think it's really delicious. I love carameliness of it. You know, this little bit oaky. Like I said, super easy proof. Not a long master, but it's just a nice, easy way just to get through the evening. It's a solid bourbon. Eight for 10 years, small amount of complexity, not a ton. It's flavorful, it's a great bottle to share. Yep. Yeah, what's not to like about it? 29, 30 bucks, if it's readily available by you, makes a solid daily drinker, really nice choice. What do you got for us? I am a cheap date, and I you guys already know what I'm gonna say. Mm. It's early times for me, bottled and bond. Previously produced by Brown Foreman, now Sazerac. Future of this bottle, it's not looking good. As much as I love this bottle, the caramel, the fruit forward notes, that oak sweet, it's just so good. $20 for a liter here in Oregon, just crazy affordable, yeah. absolutely delicious. It's a great 100 proof bourbon, bottled and bond, four years age, so. I've grown to love it too. There's a lot to like about that bottle, yeah. but in the interest of giving you something else, the viewer, so that if you come to this video a year from now in early times is history, this is, this is my other daily drinker. Yeah, not a surprise. Not a surprise. I talk about this <laughs> bottle all the time. Cooper's Craft Barrel Reserve. Again, a Brown Foreman product, 100 proof. In a lot of ways, reminds me a ton of Early Times Bottled and Bond. It's oaky, it's sweet, it's fruit forward. And depending on where you're at in the bottle, you get different fruits, strawberries, raspberries, blackberries. A beautiful bottle, changes pretty frequently while you're working your way down in it. Great to share around a campfire, delicious, 100 proof, $29. Perfect. So up next is the impress your guests category, and we actually agreed on this one. This one's kind of tricky because we, who cares about impressing people? In our minds, if you've got a friend over who likes bourbon, likes whiskey, wants to try something, and they look at this wall and they go, I have no idea where to even start, we like to recommend this bottle to really anyone and everyone. And I think it's actually a great one, not so much as an introductory, but if somebody who was like, I just want to try something different, or yeah. like, I don't really like bourbon. Old Forester, baby. Old Forester 1910. And be aware, this is a gateway bourbon. You're yeah. gonna try this one and you're gonna say, 
well, I wonder what else could possibly taste like that out there and yeah. be prepared that your collection's gonna look like this once you try this bottle. I'm just really impressed with it. I think that the ease of drinking, right, 93 proof, so it doesn't, I mean, it doesn't even drink like 93 proof. It's mm -hmm. just so delicious, so flavorful. That bananas foster we always talk about, it's got a little bit of heat on it, which makes you feel like you're drinking bourbon, but overall, it's just so flavorful and delicious. I get this like happy sound in my voice when I talk yeah, about it, but like, I yeah, know. You're gushing right now. I, I feel like I am. <laughs> I just love it. You guys know that I love it. It's just a really great one for people who just want to try something new, but yeah. aren't ready for those 130 proofers. And this sells around here for about $52, $53. Again, like she said, 93 proof, easy sipper, Seems to be readily available. Woodford Double Oaks may be a suitable replacement if you can't find this. They're priced pretty similarly, but this is our choice for a bourbon that will impress pretty much anybody that tries it. It's so flavorful, very easy drinking, lovely bottle. Our next category is the cheap mixer or a bottle for your guests who you know just aren't going to appreciate it. They wanna be a part of the scene. Nothing wrong with that, we encourage that. Anybody that wants to be a part of the bourbon scene is very welcome, of course. This one's tricky because when it comes to cocktails, we usually stick to old fashions, Sazeracs, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Almost exclusively, we use rye. And so for this category, we would love to just say Rittenhouse rye. I know I got shot down twice when I was like, what about this? What? No, they didn't. We're going bourbons here. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> ideally for this category, we would probably go with Heaven Hills Rittenhouse rye products because it's about $20 and it makes great cocktails. Yes. But we chose bourbons that we think stand up the same way in a cocktail. And for me, that's Wild Turkey 101. Very flavorful cinnamon backbone, which I think is gonna stand up in just about any one of your cocktails. It's flavorful enough if somebody just wanted to sit with an ice cube and a rocks glass with a little bit of bourbon. It's a good bottle for that. Great bottle to just pass around a campfire. Cocktail-wise, at 101 proof, it's gonna stand up. It's a quality bottle, highly recommend it. Just a nice thing to have as part of your collection. I think it's a really great choice. I really do enjoy the 101. It's a solid pick and only $27. Good deal. Good deal. So for me, of course, we can't agree. I chose the Evan Williams White Label. Basically, just because I feel like it could just mix with anything. Old fashioned, mix it with Coke if you wanted to go that direction. Absolutely. What is it, like $17? Yeah, it's so cheap. So cheap. It's just a really great mixer. It's not gonna pull too many crazy flavors. Yeah, both of these bottles are well known as workhorses in the bourbon world. They're great for mixing, they're great and neat. There are people who would definitely choose this bottle over our daily drinkers. People, totally. The yeah. Evan Williams is very popular and yeah, anything that sells in the teens that's four years or older, aged and 100 proof, great bottle there, the Evan Williams. It's a, it's a fine choice. Either one of those is gonna be very suitable as a cheap mixer or for guests who don't care what they're drinking. Yeah. <laughs> We're getting to the heavy hitters now. All right, something <laughs> great. Your Friday night bourbon. Again, for you folks that have been watching us, none of this is going to come as any surprise. Um, I don't know, I threw in a little bit of a curveball. Yeah, well. Not a lot of a curveball, but just a, <laughs> just a little ball. bit. So I chose for my Friday night the Jack Daniels single barrel. The reason I chose it, I mean, above everything else, is just that I think it surprised me how much I love this bottle, yeah. for one. It's so flavorful. It's not a drink that you're just gonna like sit and just drink in like four minutes and then want something else. Like it's a great, I had a really long week, work was terrible or something happened along the way and I just need to chill out. Put a movie on, sip it. It's just delicious, yeah. so flavorful, I love it. That's a great bottle to sit with. So many flavors to explore, even if you're not doing anything else. You can just be sitting, listening to music, or just sitting in a chair, staring out the window, sipping in that. That commands your attention and in the best way. It's delicious. Yeah, what a great it, bottle. You're right, such a surprise. Yeah, and at 132 proof, I mean, I can't particularly drink it too fast, but there's just something about like the <laughs> yeah, maple. Take your time with it. Yeah, that maple sugary sweetness, you know, there's great oak in it, so delicious. And that's why I pulled it first, which I, if you would have asked me like two months ago, this would have been up there but I don't think it would have been this one, so. Yeah, I'm actually really stoked to see you choose that because yeah. I, I know how much that bottle has surprised you. Yeah. One other thing about that Friday Night Bourbon, it has to be satisfying. That bottle totally meets that requirement. Yeah. This will come as no surprise for me. <laughs> no. It's Elijah Craig Barrel Proof, and currently that means B520, but all of the batches are delicious, exceedingly aromatic, hugely flavorful, a finish that lasts all night, incredibly satisfying. Both of these bottles, 
are solid values. The Jack Daniels, right now that's selling for $55 in Oregon. Crazy. That's crazy. That's a $10 price drop. I don't know if that's permanent or not. The Elijah Craig just went from 65 to 70 for the barrel proof. Still, in my opinion, a solid deal. It's such a great bourbon and the A121 batch just came out. Haven't tried that yet, but I'm sure we'll get it as soon as it hits shelves here from my palate. And that's, again, the important distinction here. It has to be something that hits your palate right. in a huge way. Yeah, this that's is this like, bottle. this is, you're just trying to enjoy the evening. So. Yeah. Oh, it's gotta be something you love. There's nothing more exciting than reaching for this bottle on a Friday night. Man, I love it. So the last category is our special occasion bourbon. And we agreed on this one. I hope we have so many special occasions <laughs> in the oh. near future. I'm gonna find reasons to declare things special occasions. Totally. Because this bottle is awesome. We talked about this earlier in the day that if this was more readily available, not even more, like if it was just available at any time, <laughs> It would probably make our daily drinker. It didn't let us down. We've been waiting to try it. It was like hearts flying out of my yeah, head. Yeah, talk about it. <laughs> talk about a satisfying bottle. And this will be the one on our list that is not easy to find. No. So no apologies. Here it comes. Definitely no apologies. That is Stag Junior. For us, it's batch 15, 131 proof, stunningly beautiful flavors. It doesn't drink like it's 131 proof. No. It's packed with flavor. The nose is incredible. The finish lasts all night. What better bourbon for special occasions? It's fantastic. I can't say enough about it. Yeah. I mean, we have a whole video on the love <laughs> that we found in this bottle. So I think it was just our perfect. Love that we found in the bottle. That's not too strong. That's not too strong. It's truly rare. It is truly delicious. It is truly impressive. It's great for celebrating by yourself if you have a really good reason to. It's great for celebrating with other people. If we're talking about really impressing somebody, probably that bottle. Yeah. It's just fantastic. And $50 is an insane know, price to crazy. get it for. Most most places you're not gonna get that for. Liquor stores yeah. that aren't regulated price this thing up. Secondary market's insane for it. So we're pretty lucky. We're feeling very lucky to have this. So one of the great all-time bottles and certainly at this moment I think the best in our collection. We love this stuff. Yeah. So these are just the five that works for our <laughs> or more than five obviously. That we just works. can't do anything the easy way. <laughs> That works for us, but we would love to hear <laughs> what five you guys would choose. Yeah, absolutely. This is such a fun exercise that it really doesn't mean anything to no. anybody other than to you. So what are the flavors that appeal to you the most? What are you drinking every day? Yep. What are you impressing people with? Especially right. if we don't, if we didn't call it out here or we haven't talked about it, we're always looking for a new bottle. Yeah, absolutely. Especially interested, what, what's your, the Friday night bottle? What's something great that you love that, that's not on our radar? Or your special occasion bottle because some people are throwing around dusties and unicorns that hardly exist. So we'd love to know what you guys are into. I think that should just about do it. But before you leave this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you never miss a video from us. So from wherever we are. To wherever you are. Cheers. cheers.